Hi, I'm Tony Bogart and I am the host for Something More. We want to welcome you here today. And we are here with Joshua and Dee Giles with Firebrand Global Ministries out of Greenville, South Carolina. And I'm going to tell you, these guys are amazing. They are really operating in the great commission of making disciples, healings, and deliverance ministry. And the, it's, but they do, they have this amazing thing going on, but they have a little different spin on it. We're going to talk about it today. We're going to talk about the supernatural sounds of praise that have brought the glory into your ministry. And it started with you, Dee. Um, I understand that you began to do some things. Tell us what happened with what you did. Oh, wow. So after I gave my life to Christ, really, I just really love to pray. I love to go into my own, uh, just like my secret place mm -hmm. and just begin to like cultivate an atmosphere of worship. I wanted to see happen in my home, in my private space, what I saw happening like at the meetings that I went to, the meetings I was a part of. Mm. So as I started doing that, you know, kind of just singing in the spirit, even if I was washing dishes, just kind of like singing in the spirit or praying, I began oh, to so good. like just feel an unlocking happening in my, in my life. And then I, I understand you picked up the guitar and you yes. taught yourself how to do that, right? Yes. And so then you began to bring that into the meetings yourself because you weren't a worship leader your whole time. No. You started out just singing. So that means like anybody can do that. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. So there are different levels of praise, but you began to move into this supernatural mm -hmm. thing when you took your guitar to the meeting mm -hmm. and then you started this whole worship thing and then Joshua got a part of that. He began to move in the spirit of revelation. So what happened with you when you were with her? And you, you told me something about getting words of knowledge mm -hmm. and things like that. You know, it's amazing you said that because what, what's really good about what she learned is that when she began to sing in the spirit, the words of knowledge would come to her and she would just declare it. And yes. see, a lot of people think, oh, I've got to have like nine sentences for a song for God to move. In reality, you just got to speak what God is saying Absolutely. and it will shift the atmosphere. And so I knew how to function the word of knowledge. So when I started seeing her function, because she had a dream about the word of knowledge coming upon her life. Oh. And when I that happened, that. I said, whoa, this is something different here. And so the first time we got together on stage, yeah. so, an explosion happened. I mean, it really shook the whole church. Mm -hmm. And I began to hear, although I can't sing, I began <laughs> to hear the song of the Lord for her to sing. So I'm like, I'm hearing this. And so I ran to her ear and I said, sing, there's a war in your dance. That's all I heard. Mm -hmm. And so she starts singing, there's a war in your dance. And the power of God hit the place. Yes. And I'm like, what is happening? And then she began to hear something, she began to declare, and then I began to hear something. So we began to tag team off each other, and I started to recognize this is unusual. I've never seen this in ministry before, right, but it true. brought such a dynamic of flow to the service that it really blew our mind. And we, we took that template, yeah. and it just exploded. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, and I love, you have such a unique sound about you, and it's so, it's God's signature on you. Mm -hmm. So, like, what happened in the meetings after you started doing that? What were you beginning to see? Did it, like, release a new level for you? Oh, yes, absolutely. So, there was the tangible presence of the Lord in the meetings, mm -hmm. because as we're singing these um, songs, they're not just songs, they are literally words that I'm hearing from heaven. I'm mm. hearing this as a download in my spirit. And as I begin to sing or prophetically declare it over the, the, um, the audience, all the people there that was worshiping, we'll see people start to just get delivered. We'll start to see people say, you know what, my whole life's been changed. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never felt the presence of God like this before. There was one person in our meeting who we didn't have to lay hands no nothing. She was just getting baptized by the Holy Spirit with wow. fresh fire right where she was. Wow. So it's, just, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, it was amazing. Like w w to see when you declare what is a thus saith the Lord through a song, mm -hmm. through, through sound, right? Mm. Even the instruments prophesy. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll say, prophesy on the keyboard, and they'll just go. And I'm like, you're speaking the heart of God through sound. Mm -hmm. And what people don't realize is that it is bringing forth God's voice to everybody in their own capacity, yeah. even for the region. Us as standing as leaders um, in the apostolic, mm -hmm. the prophetic, we will declare what is God saying in the region through the sound? What is God saying through the, the, the voice, you know, uh, His voice downloaded to her? And people would be flying out of their seats, the yes. power of God hitting them, yes. demons coming out of people. We had homosexuals run to the altar and wow. repent 
We didn't even know they were in the service. Like, <laughs> I gotta change my life. This, I've never felt this before. And so when you can demonstrate God at that level, mm -hmm. people cannot deny that he's not real. Because it brings the shift of heaven into that. Oh yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. Like, takes the veil away. Yeah, absolutely. That is really powerful. Mm -hmm. um, because of all of that too, you're you're starting to really ascend into a, another supernatural. You keep going from glory to glory, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yes, absolutely. And um, and so you're you're having a lot of visitations and downloads from God directly. Oh yes. And and it's all related to this sound of praise. And you're raising up teams, aren't oh, you? Oh yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. So that you, how did that all start with your bringing in people? So it kind of really started with, as I began to do it, Holy Spirit just really put it on my heart and I'm like, I need to raise up other people to do what, what I'm doing mm -hmm. because we need to raise up the next generation yes, to right. carry this as well. That's and it's point. not just one person, right? So there's there's many people who can do this, but if you have a desire um, to worship, if you have a desire to see people free, then the Lord will use you. So how this came about was there's some young, beautiful women who just love the Lord that were with us. And I'm like, you know what, come on board. And they just love to worship. They love to be in the presence of God and they love to see people people free. So they begin to flow as mm -hmm. well. But it really started happening during pray, our prayer meetings yes. ah. because mm -hmm. we began to flow during our prayer yeah. meetings ah. and we saw something start to shift. So it can start small. That's Absolutely. It. You know, when you, when you're, God is developing people around you to take on the vision of where he's taken us, right? Mm -hmm. You start in prayer, you're fasting. You got to be able to function in a, a small group before you can go out to the crowd and function. Yes. So learn to foster that in that environment. Learn to prophesy. I learn to pray, learn to decree. I think God is saying this. What do you think? Yeah. And we began to collectively hear God through each and every mm -hmm. team member before we would even go to a region. So we knew what God was saying about that region before yeah. we even went. Kind of reminds me of Miriam playing her tambourine mm -hmm. in, in the book of Exodus, you know, when yep. they crossed the Red Sea, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to take a break for a minute. But um, what we're going to do is I have a really funny story coming up about an angel and an electric guitar, and I don't know what they have in common, but come and watch us next. Hi, welcome back to Something More. I'm with my guests, Joshua and Dee Giles. And I'm telling you, this is such a power couple. And I love, I've been around your ministry. It's life changing. We're seeing all kinds of things. And I know that a lot of this is coming from revelation. And you're, you've been having a lot of uh, heavenly encounters. I'm going to share some of that stuff. I think both of you are experiencing that, but uh, I'll start with you, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. So when I started to really, we tapped into the aspect of, of worship and hearing God prophetically, you know, not just, you know, singing a song just to sing it, but what is God saying through the song? What is God saying through, you know, the, the prophetic word, um, you know, whether we're singing, prophesying, whatever it may be. And I remember um, listening to some worship. We had a CD playing 24 hours a day in our home years ago. And I remember laying down, get, being very tired. And I knew that God was wanting to take me into an encounter. So that's usually a sign of God taking you deep is, you is, get tired? is when you get really, really tired and you go to lay down, you get taken into a vision or, or in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was taken, and I remember seeing an angel um, with an electric guitar, <laughs> which is so crazy. And he's playing his heart out. And he was in a tornado. It was a very slow rolling tornado of uh, rainbow colors. And it was the glory around him. And I, know, I saw it going up in a trail, but it was going to the nostrils of God. Oh, and wow. so that was literally like an aroma to him. And so oh. that right there really shocked me because I was like, look at him releasing his heart to God and how God was taking it in. And that's how every believer should be in their worship. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, I love worship. I'm a worship leader as well. So I, I'm very interested in this subject because I understand that the power of praise is, is a game changer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting that that angel had an electric guitar yeah. because, you know, the enemy has used electric guitar, yeah. Yeah. right? And many of us stay away from that because there's a stigma to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But really, the enemy imitates yeah. what exactly. comes from heaven. Comes from yes. heaven. It's already yeah. heavenly. Yeah. And so there are 
all music mm -hmm. really is is a glory to God. It's been created by God, mm -hmm. and the enemy only imitates because he was the anointed cherub, right? So watch this. Any mu uh, instrument you play, yes. when, I, when we teach even our musicians to play with us, there's a different dynamic to it. I said, you're not just playing based on talent, you're, you're playing out of your heart. Mm -hmm. I said, if you connect your heart to that instrument and you're flowing, God is getting out of you what He needs, Absolutely. and then the atmosphere changes. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you've had some heavenly encounters. What, what have you experienced, Dee? So I've experienced the Father's voice, and my experience with the Father's voice when I heard Him, mm. um, this was a night that I also was just going to rest. I came from um, work, actually, and I was resting my head. And as I began to rest, I heard the Father's voice, and as He spoke, what I saw was the light so it's so it's so crazy, but I saw the light come in the sound waves. So it was like different mm. colors um, of rainbow. And as he was speaking to me, so I thought it was, um, it's not a coincidence, you talked about the um, electric mm -hmm. guitar and you saw all of the, the light, that all the colors like emanating. Yep. So when he spoke, there was light. So I know therefore that when the Father speaks to me and I release those songs, mm -hmm. when I release yes. that prophetic yes. declaration in worship, yes. that light is released. Right. And when mm -hmm. light is released, the power of darkness cannot Come stay. Come on powerful. now, that's it powerful. It cannot stay. No, it yep. can't stay. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yes. Um, so you're, it's also releasing Miracles. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you, do you ever get physical manifestations from people when they hear that music? Or do, you, do you get reactions oh, from? It's ex in, it's like a bomb goes off. It's oh, like yeah. a bomb. I mean, it went, yeah. it's like there could be a quick shift, or she hears something. I say, pray this or mm -hmm. sing this over someone, and the power of God just hits the place, and the people are just flying out of their chairs. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's wild. Yeah, and it's funny because you'll be in a place, mm -hmm. and it just takes that one download and the whole room changes. Yes. It is wild. And there's different manifestations. There's people who come to the altar and they just lay there. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. people who just are on their knees there and they're just weeping, weeping. Yeah. because the presence of the Lord. So it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You also have a show called The Awakening that we have on our It's Supernatural mm -hmm. Network show, and it's a really great show. You called it The Awakening, and what do you teach on that show? Do you have yeah. anything that you can reference? Right? Yeah, so, we, you know, years ago when we began to pray about God wanting to release a sound into the earth, I heard calls an awakening. And as I began to meditate on that, I said, I, I told my wife, I said, we have to find the scripture that talks about, um, you know, the King of Glory entering in. And so she had her first song ever she titled The King of Glory. And the reason God began to share that with us is because he says, I want you to create a sound that is like the King entering a room. Mm -hmm. And so when we begin to cultivate, what does that sound like? What, how does that play on a violin? How does this go with strings, the drums, all this together? It creates that environment where it's like God is stepping into the place and just bringing freedom. Yes. Wow. You know, I was thinking you're talking about the voice of God. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it says that the worlds were framed mm -hmm. by the words, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. that he spoke. So there's really power released oh, when, yeah. when the voice of the Father, so that had to bring a higher dimension into your ministry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it, it it's me. through revelation. <laughs> yes. It's not just because you sing and play guitar. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's something really that we can press into Absolutely. and begin to step and that's really, you cover so much of that in your books, in your classes, and that what you're teaching, and in your show, The Awakening. And um, I, I kind of feel like, like, you know, your name is Joshua. And it's such a fitting name for you because we are really coming into the Joshua generation where God wants us to, to take the land yes. and, and really right. have have power mm -hmm. yes. to move in that. It's like a new dispensation yes. of time. And I, I already see mm -hmm. that in your meetings anyway. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll talk more about that. And, and then I'm going to have you pray for the people. Amen. OK? All right. See you in a minute. Next.
Call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Joshua and D. Giles' Masterclass, which includes Joshua's brand new book, Secrets to Destroying Demonic Assignments. This is your ultimate spiritual warfare and deliverance handbook. Plus, you will receive Joshua and D.'s exclusive audio 12-session, Demolishing Demonic Assignments. If you purchase online, you will have the option of taking the full Masterclass through our It's Supernatural School of Ministry. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9916. With Joshua and Dee's Masterclass in Spiritual Warfare, you will receive instant freedom as you cut off secret curses, in perversion, witchcraft, and sorcery spells, and stop forever repeating demonic cycles hindering you and your family. Prevent sudden failures from coming in at the last moment to steal away your breakthroughs, and instead experience a full release of God's promises so you can live in the full destiny God has for you. Learn how stay Standing on five pillars gives you boldness and authority in the spirit realm. Immediately discern and resist demonic influences like the spirit of Jezebel, marine spirits, familiar spirits, Leviathan, Python spirits, and more. This book provides step-by-step prayers of activation and deliverance that tear down and destroy every ungodly demonic assignment the enemy throws at you. And if you choose to order online at Sid Roth's It's Supernatural School of Ministry, every session of your master class includes a video lesson and review section, a practical application, a personal activation prayer, closed caption videos, and other great features to enrich your experience. It is time to take back territory. It is time to understand the authority that God has given you. Call or go online at SidRoth.org to get Joshua and D. Giles' Masterclass, which includes Joshua's brand new book, Secrets to Destroying Demonic Assignments. This is your ultimate spiritual warfare and deliverance handbook. Plus, you will receive Joshua and Dee's exclusive audio 12-session Demolishing Demonic Assignments. If you purchase online, you will have the option of taking the full masterclass through our It's Supernatural School of Ministry. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9916 or send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9916. Welcome back to something more. I love these guys, Joshua and D. Giles. Uh, they are so innovative. And um, they have our show. I, I talked about that before we left. And it's called The Awakening. And I, when really, when I was praying over this, I just, that Joshua is such a fitting name because he takes giant steps. Both both of you guys right. take giant steps in the ministry. Yeah, yes. And it is about taking the land. It is about moving in the authority of the kingdom of God, right? So what happens and why did you write all this and do all this? I mean, the Lord's given you a revelation. It's a download, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, so the enemy traffics in darkness. Yes. God traffics in light. The Bible says, at the entrance of thy word, there is light. Mm-hmm. And so whenever God is speaking, if you're a vessel, when you speak it, light comes forth. And so I began to see that all all the giants in the land, the, the regions that are locked down with, with heavy atmospheres. You can go all over the nation, even the world, and find different hot spots where there's oppression that is just rampant, right? right. Well, there's a reason. There's not much light in that land. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. people have to understand that if they're going to dismove these giants from really functioning and having mm-hmm. dominion, they must first see what is the problem behind the scene. That's and right. so whenever we go to a region, literally we will pray and see things. Now, what's crazy about this. I didn't know this many years ago, the authority that God had given me. Every state or region I go into, I'm visited by the principality. (laughs) Why are you here? It would terrify me. I'm like, I'm like, what well, is going I'm just on? Just you trying to do what and God like, told me to do. I'm like, what's going on? What do you mean? Why am I here? What is this? And so I didn't realize until years later that God says, this is the authority they're recognizing. You're entering into their region. Mm-hmm. And so if I can see behind the scenes and pray, deal with them, and remove the altars yes. that are enforcing confusion, mm-hmm. enforcing darkness, then souls will be one. Mm-hmm. People will be Amen. on fire to fulfill their assignment. Amen. And also our praise is a weapon. Yes. yes. So when we go into the yes regions and we begin to praise, those strongholds come down. People are set free and the power of God hits the place and people experience His glorious power because our praise. Yes. So the praise really opens. It's a major portal to open that light. Absolutely. It it enters, it it brings entrance of heaven Mm -hmm. into the atmosphere because 
praise is surrounding the mm -hmm. throne. Yes. And that's what we're going to be doing for eternity, Absolutely. right? So we better get used to it now. What was that psalm that you, was it 119 that deals with the praise and then, well, there was a psalm. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's 119, <laughs> but it talks about praise and being glorious and amazing. And then it completely. Psalm 149. 149. Okay. Psalm, and then yeah. completely switches and it's like, and you're going to execute judgment against the kings of the land. It goes from happy to what in the world just happened <laughs> with a double edged sword. And so it's showing that praise. Hey, you're entering in, you're pressing in, people are being joyous and happy, but then it switches. And the next thing is executing judgment against demonic spirits. Mm -hmm. You know, I think music does bring joy. Yes, and every, yes. every, even culturally, you can see the dances oh, yeah. that people do from different lands, oh, yeah. the sounds of music, right? Mm -hmm. But it's meant, it's a gift yes. from God. And the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. And yes. joy is such an important part of mm -hmm. the strength that we carry. Oh, and absolutely. that's one thing I really see, as much as you deal with the spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. there's a signature of joy on oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Oh well, and I really do think that comes from that supernatural sound yeah. of praise, yes. which is something that we all can walk in. It's just a matter. In fact, I started, uh, uh, I heard it and it said Psalm 119, uh, 163, verse 163. And it says, Pray, I will praise God seven times a day. Mm -hmm. And I actually put it on my phone and I have a, seven alarms oh, wow. that. that come on. And every time, no matter what I'm doing, I just stop for a second, yeah. reshift. And that's something everybody yeah, that's and anybody powerful. can do. I love that you mentioned that because there's some people that believe that in an environment of praise and worship, we have to be stiff. But at our meetings, you see people, even on the stage, we're <laughs> dancing everywhere. We're having a good time. Yes. In the presence yeah. of the Lord, there is joy. Yes. Yeah. I love you it. I love it. from people dancing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's an, uh, you're, you're anointed to dance, to release something into the atmosphere. And they'll do it. Next thing you know, people are being delivered from dance because they're praising their heart out. It's almost like, That's right. it's just, it's amazing. Yes. Well, we clap, yeah. we dance, yes. we lay down on the floor. I mean, those are all elements of worship. Jump, right. have a good time in the Definitely. presence of the Lord. Right. <laughs> so be free, everybody. Yes. You be free. That's right. Be free. <laughs> I'm going to take this time and release you guys to pray. I know you have such an impartation, Amen. such a mantle. I want you to pray for our viewers today. Amen. And take your time. If you feel the Lord yes. speaking to you, operate Amen. in that. Amen. Okay? Hallelujah. Yes, I just, I'm sensing in the spirit right now that there are so many worship leaders that are going mm -hmm. to arise just from this segment, yes, from, wa that. from watching this. I see right mm -hmm. now the spirit of the Lord just igniting that spark, the fire mm -hmm. within you to yes. go forth Come in on. boldness yeah. and begin to take the land and begin to release oh the spirit of joy over your community, begin to release the spirit of joy over your Come nation. On. The yes. Lord will That's use right. we need light. you. He will use you. Father God, right now I pray, Father mm -hmm. God, at the sound of my voice, of you speaking through me, Lord, that every single person that you have anointed in this season, Lord, yes. to begin to lead the people in worship. Lord, I pray that there will be a freedom right. upon their life right now in the name of Jesus. Ooh. You will hold back no more. That's right. That's right. You will release the fullness of what God yes, has it. given to you right now in the Come mighty on. name of Jesus. Lord, raise mm -hmm. up this generation yep. of worshipers that yes. will worship Come you on. in yeah. spirit and in truth, Woo. my God, thank you, Lord. That's powerful. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Woo. My goodness, Lord, release it right oh, now. Oh, my goodness. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, just as my thank wife began to declare, there are Jesus. worshipers that are rising yes, up. Jesus. Release the sound. Don't look yes, at yourself. Lord, Many of you are looking goodness. at yourself as insignificant. Come does on, my Lord. voice matter? Yes, your voice matters. Yes, it does. And God yes, wants Lord. you to release what is within you and watch the impact that mm. you will have in my the God. name of Jesus. I just hear the word activate. Oh, that's good. I hear that activate right now. Yes. Those that were sleeping, you are waking up. Come on. Activate. Hearts activate. are awakening right. right now to the sound mm. of God. Oh, I declare oh, yeah. that hearts oh, are awakening activation. right now to the, the sound of, of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Activate your people in the name mm. of Jesus. Those that said, Lord, I give up. Those that said, Lord, I don't know if I can keep on going. I can keep on doing this. I hear right now that the Lord is releasing encouragement right. upon you right now to do his work in Jesus mighty name. Oh my goodness. And you know, this is not just for worshipers. No. This is for all, I mean, the sound of praise is a gift yes. from God. And it starts with our intimate prayer life yes. and our worship life. Mm -hmm. Those, the book of Psalms offers so much. Yes. yes. Right? Absolutely. And so 
I want you to know that this is for you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Step into the joy of the Lord. Yes. Step into it. Take that time when you're praying, put music on. Yeah. Yes. They were listening right. to music 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. They changed the atmosphere in their home and that's what started the revolution in their life. That's right. Thank you for being at Something More and we hope to see you next time.